So you're planning on building an epic PC setup and you're about to get your first PC or you've just recently grabbed your first PC, but you don't yet know how to get the best out of it. Well, you've come to the right place because today I'm going to be giving you some of my top tips for PC beginners in 2024. Let's dive in. You've seen me build some pretty stunning PCs on the channel in the past, unless you're new to the channel, in which case feel free to check them out. But I haven't really gone into how to get the best out of them, so here is a few handy tips to get you started. And as an added bonus, I'll let you know how you can win this $2,500 custom PC build right here on the channel a little later on. So first things first, if you fall into the category of people watching this video who are planning on getting a PC but haven't yet grabbed one, you're faced with the biggest question of all, buy a pre-built or build one yourself. Buying pre-built is certainly the much easier option but can be more expensive than actually building it yourself. Building a PC for the first time can be very daunting but there are tons of guides and videos out there and I personally think that it's actually very fun to learn and is especially helpful when it comes to upgrading parts down the line. Buying parts separately allows you to look for the best deals and can work out much cheaper than buying a full build. You can also go down the route of getting a custom build where you pick the parts and pay somebody else to build it for you. Again, this is more expensive but can be worth it if you're nervous about building yourself. Personally, I always recommend building a PC but of course it entirely depends on what you want to go for. Now once you've actually got your PC, you're going to want to get the best performance out of it. You should always plug your monitors into the back of your graphics cards rather than the ports on your motherboard if you want smoother performance. The reason you have that expensive graphics card in your PC is because it offers much better graphics and display quality, especially when it comes to gaming. So by plugging your monitors in here, you will end up getting much better performance. If you do have a lower end build without a graphics card, some CPUs do offer integrated graphics, but they have much lower performance. Once you have your monitors plugged in correctly, you're going to want to set them to their optimum resolution and refresh rate. Out of the box, monitors are set to 60Hz by default, but if you have a more capable monitor and you want the most fluid image, you'll want to set it to the highest you can. Right click on your desktop and head into the display settings. Once there, go into advanced display settings and here you will see an option for refresh rate. Click on the drop down and then set it to the highest number. Now you'll see a much more fluid image which will massively improve your gaming experience. You can also change the resolution if you want to, to max out the quality of the image on screen. Monitor refresh rate is not the only thing that isn't set to its highest performance by default. When you first get a PC, especially if you build it yourself, you may have high speed RAM in your system. However, when you first boot up, the RAM speed will be set to default, which for DDR4 RAM is 2133 MHz and for DDR5 is 4800 MHz. So if you've spent a bunch of money on fast RAM, you're missing out on a lot of performance. To fix this, upon booting your PC, hit whatever key opens the BIOS, usually F12 or delete. Then you'll want to find a setting called either XMP or Expo, depending on whether you're running an Intel or AMD CPU, and you'll want to enable this. This will now allow your RAM to run at its intended speeds and boost your PC performance. Speaking of BIOS, in some cases you may need to update the BIOS or drivers when using your PC for the first time. Sometimes when using a newer CPU on an older compatible motherboard, the PC cannot boot without a BIOS update. The exact method of doing this will vary depending on which motherboard you have, but you can download the latest version from the manufacturer's website and they will also often have a guide on how to install it. This is usually done with a flash drive and takes about 10 to 15 minutes. As well as the BIOS, you may need to update drivers for things like your motherboard, CPU or graphics card. These often fix compatibility issues, add bug and security fixes and much more and enable your PC to run smoothly. Again, you'll be able to download these from the manufacturer's website and updating your graphics drivers often allows your PC to run newer games without having issues with the graphics. Before we move on to the next tip, here's a reminder that I am currently running a giveaway on the channel for this $2,500 custom PC build from Viraltech. To celebrate hitting 100,000 subscribers on the channel, I am giving one of you the opportunity to win this PC build for your setup. To enter, head over to my previous racing sim video which you'll find linked down in the description and probably up in one of the top corners and in there you'll find instructions on how to enter and also the terms and rules of the giveaway. There's still one week left to enter and then a winner will be drawn and announced in the next video. But that's not all, if the channel hits 125,000 subscribers before the end of the giveaway, I will pick two more winners who will win gaming chairs from Noble Chairs. 
So head on over and check that video out after this one and good luck to everyone who enters. Now back to the main video. Now, sometimes you may notice that over time your PC may boot up slower or begin to run slower whilst performing tasks. An easy way to fix this is to open up the start menu and search for startup apps. In here you will find all of the apps which automatically start running when you boot up your PC. Go down through this list and disable all of the apps which you don't need and this will help your PC to boot up more quickly. You can also head to installed apps, click the three dots, choose advanced options and then under background apps permissions set this to never. Make sure to do this on all of the apps that you don't need running in the background which will help with PC performance especially when gaming. Now for this part of the video I'm going to give a bunch of quickfire PC shortcuts that will be handy for you to know. If you're noticing graphics issues whilst gaming, hold Windows Control Shift and B and this will reset your graphics drivers, hopefully fixing any issues. If you're casually browsing the internet and accidentally close the tab you were on, hold Control Shift and T to instantly reopen your last tab. This also works after closing and reopening your browser. If you're using multiple apps on a single monitor, hold Windows and the left or right arrow to quickly align the apps on either side of the screen rather than having to manually drag them to the sides. When you first boot up your PC, hold Control Shift Escape to bring up the Task Manager, click Settings and then select Always on Top. This means that anytime an app or game crashes, Task Manager will always open on top of the crashed app so you can close it rather than having to hard power off your PC. Now these are a few non-essential but cool tips to make your PC setup look much cooler. Firstly, if you want awesome animated wallpapers like the ones you see me use in all my videos, head to Steam and download an app called Wallpaper Engine. It costs $3.49 which is really not much and it gives you access to thousands upon thousands of really cool animated wallpapers to use in your setup. They're a great way of matching your desktop to the kind of theme you want. You can also head to the Windows Store and download an app called Translucent TB which you can use to make your taskbar transparent which personally I think looks much cleaner. And for an even cleaner look you can also right click the taskbar, head into the settings, then under behaviors toggle on automatically hide the taskbar. If you ever come to need it after doing so just move your cursor off the bottom of the screen and it'll reappear. Finally another thing I recommend especially if using Wallpaper Engine is to hide your desktop icons. Do this by right clicking on the desktop then select view and show desktop icons. This along with the other steps creates this lovely clean desktop which looks so much nicer and if you need any of the apps you can always pin them to the taskbar or start menu for easy access. And the final tip I'm going to give today is probably one of the most important and one of the ones that gets ignored the most. Please 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 clean your PC regularly. Dust can build up easily inside the components like your fan blades and this can affect cooling and temperatures and if you leave it long enough can cause parts to fail. Just spend 5 to 10 minutes once or twice a month giving the PC a quick dust down. You can use a can of compressed air or a small air fan just make sure to hold them a good distance away from any parts and spray carefully. And there you go those are my top tips for PC beginners in 2024. If anyone watching has any more handy tips feel free to drop them in the comments. And remember, if anyone tells you to delete System32, don't do it. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found this helpful. And if you did, please drop a like to show the algorithm you enjoyed it and let me know what you thought in the comments. I love reading your thoughts, so keep them coming. And if you don't have any, just drop your favorite game for the engagement. If you want more handy tips, PC builds, tech reviews and more, drop the channel a sub and turn on those notifications so you never miss another video. And remember there is a PC giveaway running right now on my previous racing sim video if you want to check that out. Thanks again for the support, I will see you all in the next video, see you later.